Hi everyone, we're in Yoita, Niigata, Japan. We're outside of um, Mr. Mizuno's uh, blacksmithing shop, which is behind me. We're gonna go inside and see how he makes a Kana blade. So let's go inside and check it out. This is Mr. Mizuno right here. He's a uh, blacksmith. Hello. We're here with Mr. Mizuno right now, and he's going to explain to us each one of his different blades that he makes. えっと、鋼は水田鋼です。次、画法人です。えっと、鋼は K120を使っております。水田鋼です。水田鋼だと硬いんですか？いや、そんな硬くないですよ。硬い。うん。じゃ、研ぎもそんなに難しくない。うん
青白髪と比べるとどういう特徴があるんですか。うんまあ白髪がだいたい他のものと違うのかな。混ぜ物がない単色っていうやつですね。あとはみんな混ぜ物が混ぜ物ったわりけどもクロームが生えてたりなんだあの足してあるか焼き入れ性を良くするために他のものを入れてるっていう感じですね日本の木だと多分大体切れると思うんですけど海外の木って結構硬い木が多いんですけど硬、はい、い木だとどうですか、うんうん、でも結構みんなあのカスとか、うん、そういうのを削ってるんで大丈夫だと思いますよ。好みってどうやって皆さん分けてるんですか。まず研ぎやすい。が、うん、あとは葉持ちがいいか悪いか。まあ葉持ちが良ければ硬いし。うん、研ぎやすければ、だいたい柔らかいって考えた方がいいんじゃないかな。不足は高炭素クローム鉱を使用しています。一応材料がもう大きい材料しかないんで、それを伸ばして鋼の。厚みに伸ばすのが大変ですあと姿勢が白髪の一号ですねで和楽が東郷の白髪です東郷は手に入らないんですかもうあ,あもう製造はとっくに終わってるんでうん、うん、その東郷は質がいいんですか昔から東郷鋼って結構硬い鋼があったんでそれが有名だったんだけどもまあ昔のどういうんだろう鉄削る材料あとは青一と百年刻むが青髪一号ですね So the pricing is based on how rare the metal is. So that's why、um, you can see a variability of、uh, different costs here. Aogami has a greater flexibility when it comes to temperature control. So if, you, if your furnace gets too hot or gets too cold, you can still make an Aogami steel blade. Shirogami has a little bit of a tighter tolerance when it comes to temperature control,、um, which is quite interesting. There's a lot to get, that goes into blacksmithing, particularly for making carpentry tools. That、uh, blacksmiths really have to understand and really know. And it, it really blows my mind that you know you would have to spend years just kind of perfecting this knowledge and this skill. But,、um, you know, of course, Mr. Mizuno is fourth generation、uh, doing this business. And,、um, you know, a lot of his knowledge is handed down generation after generation. I'm blown away with the, with the selection of tools that he has here. So I hope people get the chance to. Um, actually, purchase a Mizuno blade and try it for themselves.、Um, I hear great things about it, so it's.、Um, I personally don't own one, but I want to get one and I want to see、uh, how it is. So I'm very excited to possibly see one of these in action. And of course, he makes different sizes as well. So these are the same ones, but in smaller bladed form, right? So this is the Hakunen blade, which is this one. So, he makes a smaller form of this, which is good to know. Like, if you really like this blade, but you want something a little more compact,、um, he does make them in smaller forms. I would say the only one that he doesn't make is this one right here, which is the Damascus steel.、Um, of course, like I was saying, this is not for sale, but it's something that if you're interested in getting a smaller version of any of these other ones, it's possible. So, all these Kanadais are made by Koyoshiya, which is our friend、uh, Watanabe. And,、um, You know, so if you see the symbol, you know it's going to be a good die. <laughs> so I want to say thank you to Mr. Mizuno for taking us around his blacksmithing shop and also showing us all the different kanas that he makes、um, in his shop. And、um, just thank you. Thank you for taking us around. Thank you. 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 Thank